tutorial I will show you how to access access excel file file inside scilab and how to perform the operation on that file so in my folder I have marks marks.xls marks.xls and one more file marks1.xls so to read the file you have to use suppose sheets is equal to variable and uh, having sheets as a variable command to read xls is read xls and pass the file name so name of the file is marks1.xls so this is nothing but the name of the excel file marks1.xls this is marks1.xls file so the names are and marks are given so press enter then s1 is equal to sheets1 so first sheet i will save in s1 so this is nothing but the first sheet name paper paper1 ram and you can say cross check this so the same excel file with the name name first value paper1 pritesh prince 1796 so all values are same so i have accessed this inside the scilab so now it is accessible so i have accessed it now i will separate out the values and text so that i will have some other variable s is equal to x1 dot text so only text is taken s will be only text and suppose y is equal to x1 dot value so only values so wherever text that will be written as not a number and remaining 50 those values are um, taken as a number and remaining are not a number so those are text here the command is x1 dot text for separating the text and value for separating the value now i have separated the text and i have separated the value so s1 i have read it so this is the procedure how we can read xls file or excel file inside the scilab i will clear it now i have this y value or y is nothing but the matrix in which some values are not a number and some values are numbers now suppose i want to find the average row wise average of it so if i know that if or suppose i want to find the sum of it sum row wise if i am taking sum sum of this y comma i am to take it as a row wise so it is not a number because this is also added not a number and everything that will become not a number so it is not correct output correct output i want as i want to add the numbers only so that what i will do i will separate out text and numbers separately y is equal to how why you can separate out the column first so for separating the column use the semicolon comma 1 is equal to so if you write like this y in bracket colon and comma 1 it will separate out first column but i don't want that column i want the matrix without this column so i have to write like this equal to an empty bracket so see the first column it is removed from this y now i want to remove the upper one means the row first row so that i will write y in bracket colon before colon the value is written for row and after this is for column so i want to remove first row so i'll write one comma and then colon is equal to bracket now see this is removed so that output is y is equal to 50 45 and only the numbers now i can perform the sum of this sum of y column wise or row wise if suppose the row wise yeah it is column wise perform you have to pass the r value so 50 20 so that is 
25 30 it's a question of y comma c yes. you want row wise and this is the row wise addition of the numbers so all the operations can be performed and this data is taken from the excel file so you suppose sum of y the summation can be found out average of y Y is not correct command like this. So you can find the sum sum of A. Not A, it is Y. So many operations can be performed on this data which is extracted from Excel file. Now I will access another file which is mark1. So this is mark XLS. So I will access this like suppose is equal to read excel as in bracket marks dot xls so it is now sheet uh, sheet then i will have as i will take some other variables or a1 is equal to sheet of one sheet one in the second or marks.xls all are numbers are not stored uh, the text all are numbers only first row is first row is okay. so this is saved in the a1 so you can find you can double click so it is not accessible so you can remove the first row so that it will be better so a1 in bracket colon first row comma is equal to is equal to a1 dot value so I will have separated all the values so that first row becomes not number so we have forgotten that and because of that there was error so d not a number I don't want this first row so I will remove it d and bracket row so that before semicolon you have write first row comma is equal to the bracket. So see, you can see that first row is now removed and we having only the values. Now you can perform the operations, you can perform the sum of D. So it is summation of all the elements of D. So here is the D, so you can double click and you can see. C is nothing but similar to Excel file. So all the values. I can open the Excel file, marks, you can compare, the values, 1, 3, 1, 3, 245, 245, so all the values are similar. Now suppose I want to uh, plot it. So there are commands also and there is a shortcut also to plot. I have this particular icon plot the selection. I can select and I can select and plot it. So you can plot 2D, mat plot, gray plot, S gray plot, charm, H plot, mesh, curve, histogram, contour, pi. If I click on this plot 2D, it will plot 2D of this data. If I want mat plot, it will plot the mat plot. If I want 
S3 plot it will plot the S3 plot if I want cham this is nothing but the cham plotted if you want spot the histogram plotted if you want surf surface this is nothing but surface plot if you want contour 2D the contour plot and pie chart so this is the pie chart you will get so this particular shortcut is available so you can click the data or you can have the selection and based on that you can plot the data so many operations can be performed on excel file and easily accessible because in scilab also all the data are stored in the matrices and excel is nothing but it is array of matrices so the number of uh, number for column and number for rows it is easily can be accessed after excel can be easily accessible accessible because the data is stored in matrices and excel is nothing but the 